When a client crafts a script, they have a vision for what they want their customers to feel when they hear the message. In the end, the read is judged based on how it makes someone feel when they listen to your read. And a read that captures their attention will be a client that returns to you over and over. So, how do we do this? How do we read a script that someone else wrote and make it sound like it's our own personal life experience we're sharing? That's a tall order. But with a few tips and practice over time, this gets easier and easier. First and most importantly, we want to speak from the heart, not from the head, as we discussed earlier. Always remember, we want to tell it, not sell it. You are sharing an experience with listeners, not laying down a command or simply delivering information for consumption. So, rule number one, even if you know nothing about the product, you can pretend you do, which will make you sound like it's a product you really care about. Or as my acting teacher used to say, just pretend. That's why it's called acting. There are three very important questions you want to answer when deciding what kind of heartfelt read you are going to give. Number one, who are you talking to? And you must be very specific. When I ask this question, students often answer, I am talking to people that. And this is where we go wildly off course. If you talk to people who generally like, etc., you're basically delivering a lecture to 100 people or making a general announcement. And if a company is passionate about their product, they are obviously not looking for a general announcement. So, when you are deciding who you are talking to, be very specific picking one person. Because if you talk to one person, everyone listening to that recording thinks they are that person. And this is the great thing about voiceover today. The mics are so sensitive that most of our reads are intimate conversations with one person. An example of this would be, I am talking to my mother in our living room. Now I have a picture of who is receiving this information, and that will change the way I say the words. Number two, what are you saying? And I don't mean, what are the words in the script? I mean, what does the script really mean? Is there an underlying message the client is getting across? Is this read with an attitude? Yeah, that sounds great. Or is it, yeah, that sounds great. Clearly, the underlying message makes a huge difference in how you approach your read. Number three, why are you saying this? What is the situation? And the more detail you give the situation, the better. Let's go back to our Breast Cancer Research Center script. How would you say this script if you were talking to your mother who has just been diagnosed with cancer and is looking for proper care? Your job is to console her and give her hope. How does this read change if your mother is a breast cancer survivor and you're giving this advice to your neighbor who needs treatment? Now, the hope comes from an even deeper experience. The final piece of advice I want to offer in this lesson is to always assume you are the expert in the room. Often when I ask a student who they are in a read, they will often respond, I am a salesperson for the company. Okay, but if you're just another salesperson trying to make a living, your read is going to sound like you hope to close the deal. What if instead you are giving that same read as the CEO? Now you're the person who developed this product and company and you are sharing it because you believe in how it can change lives. That makes for a very different read than simply saying, I am a salesperson. CEOs don't have to sell because they are the expert in the room. Always consider yourself the expert in the room when deciding what character you are playing in a script. I encourage you now to take a practice break between videos. Take out the practice scripts provided in this course and break down who are you talking to, what are you saying, and why are you saying it. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about hitting or elongating words in your script. See you next time.